Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Superfoods 101 series brought to you by HolisticHealth.com. And today we are talking about Moringa, okay? One of the biggest new supplements to hit the market in a while and probably one of the coolest and one of my favorites. So this is Moringa 101. So what is Moringa? Well, in 2008, the National Institute for Health called this the plant of the year but it's been around a lot longer than that you see the World Health Organization has been using Moringa for over 40 years to combat malnutrition okay and we're gonna show you exactly why it's used to combat malnutrition so what is it well Moringa in all actuality is a tree it's a very fast growing leafy green tree producing leaves pods and flowers okay now there's actually 12 different types of moringa out there but the one that people refer to most when you hear the word moringa is moringa oleifera so for all intents and purposes what we're talking about today is moringa oleifera now there are many uses of this tree okay this tree can grow in very sandy and very bad soil okay so the tree itself is great because it can grow where a lot of other trees can't and then over time as the plant matter around it decomposes it will actually make the soil around it more fertile so that's great now the tree also produces pods okay and inside those pods are seeds okay if you squish those seeds you get oil out of it now that oil can be used for cooking oil it can be used on the skin for moisturizing and it can be used to treat minor cuts and scrapes okay but that's not all after you squeeze the seeds out you can take those seeds and purify water with it put them in water stir it around it will suck out all the impurities okay now here's the part where most people use the tree for the leaves themselves okay you take the leaves you cut them off dry them like tobacco okay and then mill them into a fine powder and you get an extremely extremely powerful nutritional supplement people also take the leaves and the flowers and brew that into a tea okay so it can be used for supplementation in that way as well and then the bark and root are also used as medicine in traditional cultures so as you can see the tree is extremely extremely giving okay it's one of those trees that you know you can really help out a community with if you know how to properly use it let's talk about some of the benefits okay and when we talk about the benefits we're of course talking about the leaves okay that's where most of the nutritional supplementation comes from so the leaves themselves when they're dried and milled into that powder now moringa is extremely nutrient dense gram for gram moringa leaf powder has seven times more vitamin C than an orange it has four times more vitamin A than carrots it has four times more calcium than milk and it has three times more potassium than bananas it also has three times more iron than spinach and three times more vitamin E than almonds and it also has two times the protein of yogurt which is extremely cool because that's very rare that you find in a leafy green plant so as you can see all these things that we've come to know as extremely dense in uh, one vitamin um, or a mineral moringa actually blows them all out of the water and it's one leaf so it's very very cool now the more and more benefits of moringa are coming up every day okay but we do know that it's extremely good for detoxification think about how that mashed up seed purifies water the leaves do the same thing in your body okay they purify it of those impurities okay so it's extremely detoxifying the leaves also contain all the essential amino acids so it's great for building muscle it's great for your body and very easily digestible um, the fact that it's a leafy green protein source is phenomenal these are very hard to find okay so if you can find a good quality plant-based green protein source that's phenomenal because it's also alkalizing okay green plants are extremely alkalizing and obviously alkalizing is good because our bodies become acidic over time but they operate much better when they're alkaline they're also now um, proving how many antioxidants this plant has which also makes it great for anti-aging so as you can see the leaves in this powder there's more and more things coming out every day that moringa supports 
So the different forms of Moringa available out there, you're going to see a couple of different forms. Um, the first form that you're probably going to see is the powder. Okay, This is just your typical Moringa leaf powder milled down. You can take this, you can put it into baking, you can put it into smoothies, you can sprinkle it on top of uh, salads and on foods. You can make tea out of it. That's what most people do is they'll just put this uh, powder in and make a tea out of it. Um, that's one of the best ways that you can actually use it. Capsules uh, should only be 100% um, Moringa leaf powder in a capsule. If there's any other fillers in there, that's not what you want. So make sure you get pure 100% Moringa leaf powder capsules. Um, the oil, um, if it's pure oil, this stuff is great. You can use it on your skin. It's extremely, extremely moisturizing and good for your skin. Okay, we talked about the anti-aging and all the antioxidants in there. That stuff's great for your skin. And now we're also seeing it used in cosmetics a lot. But before you go out there and you buy something just because it says it contains moringa, look at the other ingredients in there and look at the company itself to see if it, you know, it's really a good decision. Because just because it contains moringa doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be good for you or good for the environment in general. So some some things to consider here, and these are pretty standard with all the supplements out there. But how is it grown? Okay, is it grown organically? Is it not grown organically? Unfortunately, right now, the vast majority of Moringa is grown in India. And it's not to say that there aren't some good farms in India, but statistically and traditionally over time, the products that come out of India, and especially um, the nutritional products that come out of India, have had a very, very poor quality control. And it's the same with Moringa. You'll see Moringas that come out of India that are almost brown. Okay, Your Moringa should be a bright vibrant green just like you see here it should be that color up top that bright vibrant green okay if it's brown that's not a good moringa that means it's dead okay <laughs> so you're gonna want to make sure it's green so how is it grown where is it grown how is it processed if it's processed at high heat that's not good okay that's a quicker way to process moringa because you can dry it out really quick and then you can mill it and you can be done with it but traditionally and the way to get the best moringa you can is you have to slow dry the moringa leaves in a dark room or in the shade why because the sunlight will zap the nutrients out of it so it takes longer but it's better for you long term how is it delivered we're talking about is it a hundred percent pure powder or are there fillers in it if it's in a capsule is it a vegetarian or vegan capsule okay these are all things to think about when you uh, look for a an actual supplement or product okay and then finally the last thing you should consider is cost because it doesn't matter if you buy a Moringa product that's half as cheap if it's, uh, if it's a dead product that comes from India because you're going to get nothing out of it. Spend a little bit extra money. Get a quality, organically grown, top quality Moringa. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Superfood 101 series on Moringa Oliveira. This was Moringa 101. As always, we encourage you to learn more. For more tips, recipes, and access to the world's best nutritional information and supplements, head on over to HolisticHealth.com and get healthy. I will see you all in the next segment. Have a great day.